Welcome to this week's episode, entitled, It Began With a Blinker. Someone asked me the other day to uh, break down uh, that uh, Double Time Master verse uh, for them. They heard they had an audio clip of it from somewhere. Um, but I was like, man, I was like, I killed it too because, you know, it's hard to do all that stuff and uh, rap that fast and one one take with minimal breath and stuff like that so that was, that was cool to hear a uh, uh, verse done well I have an audio clip that uh, I'm going to play here in a second so you can hear what it was and then I'm just going to break down some of the uh, harder parts or, or I mean it, I don't want to say less clear because I don't know I think I say these words quite clear but it's just uh, it's hard to decode once in a while because it's a ba 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 but uh, yeah Take a listen right here. Uh, the Josh that raps. I don't even really have a song or a hook or more verses to it. It's just one verse that just uh, always stuck around with me. Uh, call it Double Time Master. Put in the comments below what you actually think that verse should be called. Uh, here you go. They know where to come when they're looking for trouble. They stumble on double time masters. No hurdle, just hurt her past. Dash like pup up pass, cash gone. Some of y'all people compare me to bone. Some of y'all people compare me to twister. Some of y'all people compare me to Nina. I'm only claiming militia. Other members get the picture. I'm ripping my section. Records dipping, reckless spitting, but still it's perfectionistic scripture. Push 3 0, oh, that don't matter. I'm stuck in my zone. No gun to toe, pop microphones. Bullets of bars, I fit up your car with the heat. My heart to speak, all of be talking. He's not a response, be started, be sick with a bar, but it's not what I want to be. Oh, we're not gonna be. It's I am and everyone gonna see another me Showing these skills when the killer be the ability real Steadily thrill, melodies chill Bringing the bump stock, spelling and braille Give me a second to breathe a few minutes to beat You be feeling defeated, just stuck in this seat We be fucking with me cause I'm bringing the fire Yeah, I lit him I'm sitting in the middle of the west Hit him in the chest, never could have guessed what hit him Better than the best step in And I think it's time that y'all enter for me <sighs> Oh man, right away that very first line Um I never, I don't know how this verse ever was recorded because, I mean, but I do. So there's another song I got called Hell on a Beat. And the very first line of this one is, they know where to come when they're looking for trouble. And the very first line, in the second verse in that song is, they follow me like they think I'm a fumble. And I just must have been in the zone that week. I, I wrote them really close to each other. And, um, I think I just, you know, like duplicated it on accident. Didn't notice it till way later. So way later, after Helen and the Beat is already recorded, that's how it happened. That they kind of canceled itself out just because Helen and the Beat got recorded first, and that's how this song ended up being the unheard of verse. But um, regardless of that, they know where to come when they're looking for trouble. They stumble on double time masters. Mm, hence the song title. That's all I got. Um, they stumble on double time masters and then they say no huddle just hut hut pass dash like puff puff pass cash gone so there's a lot going on there but um no huddle just hut hut pass it's like you know get get to the to the play pass dash you know and run for the goal like puff puff pass like, and then you smoke in rotation, cash, it's gone. And the person that would have dashed and from the huddle, their lack of, would also be gone because he's dashing. Damn, it's hard to explain. You ever try to explain to a child how to say, how to use the words me, you, and I properly? It's the hardest thing in the world. Like, so I say, no, but you say me when you are talking about you but when i am talking about me i say i but when i'm talking about you i say you but you say me you know i don't know you know what it's like a who's on first fucking horrible joke with words uh regardless that's that part pass cash gone next part easy some of y'all people can pay me the bone some of y'all people can pay me the twister some of y'all people can pay me the nina i'm only claiming militia I don't know why I was just in that zone. And I don't know why I was just in that zone. And then I say, only claiming mili uh, militia of the Midwest. Get the picture? 
I rep my section. Records different. Records different. And back in the day, that was the name of our little group that we had. Uh, different, d differ entertainment. It was so different space E and T dot different. Um, records different. Reckless spitting still is perfectionistic scripture because I'm structuring these damn things like a dang skyscraper. Uh, uh, perfectionistic scripture. What well, damn? It. See, this is so hard doing this. Um, uh, oh man, dang, it's cash going on some of your people. Oh yeah, militia. Get the picture. I'm rapping my sexual records different, reckless spitting, but still it's perfectionistic scripture. Oh, oh, this is the best part of shit. Uh, so I'll tell you how long ago that this song was written. The actual lyrics to this next line uh, are push 3-0, but I've had the verse so long, now I say 4-0 because I'm older. But, <laughs> but, uh, so push 4-0, that, 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 that don't matter. Uh, push 4-0, that don't, yeah, that's it. Push 4-0, that don't matter. I'm stuck in my zone. No gun to tope. I pop microphones, bullets are bars, I fill up your car with D. Oh, shit. I'm never a metaphorical rapper like that. I just like to just have, like, a good flow, some good meaning behind the story or whatever that I'm trying to tell. But, um, push full, oh, that don't matter. I'm stuck in my zone. No gun to tote, pop microphones. So now my, I'm saying that my weapon is my microphone and my words. I say bullets are bars. Uh... I fill up your car with the heat. So you would imagine in your head like uh, like some old like gangster movie with the machine gun <laughs> tatting up the car. But it's me with my words. Bullets of bars, I fill up your car with the heat. This is the hard part. I'm gonna run through the lines and then break them back down to you because the very first one it always has questions. My heart to speak Arnold P. Tardy. <laughs> oh, I gotta explain that, Arnold P. Um, it's just a, a contraction of uh, art will be so I had to spell it for you I guess it'd be like A-R-T uh, apostrophe L-L space B-E art will be so I say my heart to speak art will be targeting arteries because it's like touching your heart you know targeting arteries spark a beat start a beat sick with it barf it it's not <laughs> sick with it barf it it's not what I want to be or what I'm gonna be it's what I am everyone gonna see another me Showing these skills when I kill a beat Ability real, steadily thrill Melodies chill, bringing the bumps like spelling and braille Oh, another metaphor on your ass Like spelling and braille And then I say, uh, oh, and then I have like a little uh, Like half a second right there And then, um, where I take the biggest little breath That I can ever take Um Hard to speak, ought to be talking to you, not to be spoken, be started, be simple, and it's not what I want to be, oh, what I'm going to be, it's what I am, and everyone's going to see another, be someone who's killing, the killing, the ability, real, steadily, drill, melody's chill, putting up bumps, expelling the real. Yeah, and then, and then I say, I write it, because it's like reminding myself almost, like if I, once I know the words, uh, to breathe right there, because I only get like good three breaths in the whole verse, and I say, um, <gasps> And then I say some fast shit. I say, give me a second to breathe, a few minutes to beat. You'll be feeling de defeated and stuck in the seat when you're fucking with me because I'm bringing the fire. Yeah, I'll date them. I'm sitting in the middle of the West. Midwest. Hit him in the chest. Never could have guessed what hit him. Better, better than the rest of it. I think it's time that y'all. And then I would just always like, I, in my head, it, this ends in a dot, that dot, dot. I think it's time y'all. And then I would just like fill in a blank. Or I don't, it doesn't really matter, you know, like, it just, the way that I do songs is, I don't even care about the beat, once I got three verses, that all makes sense, I know what I, the hook is supposed to be, I get to a beat, that's when I have fun with it, and spend some time in the thing, otherwise, verses need to be written going in there, and if you want to fuck around and pick a beat out, and then throw a new hook on there, so it's a, a brand new song, or a complete project, whatever you want to call it, but that's my fun way of doing it. Because the rhyming part got boring, you know? Because, like, once you got all of it, you can make a rhyme out of anything in the whole world. And then your structure is on point for the most part for your personal preference, you know? Then, then what's left? To just keep doing the same thing over and over again? I'm also a woodworker. I would hate if I was just building this, a same damn end table, you know? 
multiple times a month, you know, horrible. I would not like to do that. I hardly speak art will be targeting. <laughs> that is funny. Art will be, that's what I'm saying. And that that's a great, great example right there. I'm saying like once you know that you can rhyme anything with anything. But, um, what was the land then? How to speak out of the targeting arteries. Oh, targeting arteries and stuff like that. Man, that was the era of that time, whatever time that would have been in. 2013, something like that. Uh, the arteries, talk about your arteries. And, uh, what, what else? A jugular. <laughs> that, you know, people can say that shit a lot. So, Bone Thugs and Harmony and uh, 3 Six Mafia doing the versus the Swiss Beats and Timbaland thing. I'm pretty excited for this. I was always, uh, I hated uh, 3 Six Mafia, Crucial Conflict, Twister, um, and just never gave Tech any love back in the day. Now, I love all of these people. I just picked my nose right on camera. Damn, it was really it. I can't believe I did that. Damn. All right. <laughs> Shit. Ooh. Went hard too, didn't it? <laughs> All right. Bone Thugs and Harmony. <laughs> Three Six Mafia is supposed to do a versus uh, coming up uh, in a couple weeks or something here. I'm pretty excited. I was always a big hater on Crucial Conflict, uh, Three Six Mafia, Twista. And uh, never really gave Tech any love because these were the, the fast rappers of that, that era. And um, I was a big Bone Thugs and Harmony fan. That's pretty much it. But as uh, I went on um, boasting about this uh, new group that it was, uh, they were the best in the world. I was uh, approached by this guy, his name's Tino. And he's like, he's like, he's like, man, he's like, all right. He's like, but Twist is way better. And I was like, Man, blast for me, um, He's like, he killed him anyway. And I'm like, what are you talking about? But he shows me, uh, Twist is, uh, is it called Crook County or County of Crooks? I forget which one. But, um, yeah, he did get him. He got him. Get him, get him. Get him. Yeah, and, uh, that's when I was like, damn, I was like, this dude is super clear. That's what I gotta do. But, uh, yeah, ever since that happened, and then, you know, then they ended up squashing all their beef and shit. And now I think, like, Crazy and DJ Paul are, like, good friends. Which is weird that we haven't got that Yellow Wolf Crazy Bone joint yet. And then, um, Back to the thing. I'm excited to see this because, uh, man, uh, Juicy J, huge uh, rise there for a second. You know, he was going nuts on everything. He was like Lil, Lil Wayne in the Lil Wayne era. You know, I mean, I guess most of hip hop is a Lil Wayne era, but you know, like when he was doing. Um, I'm excited to see what songs uh, Three Six plays because they got fucking hits, like massive hits. And, and personally, again, I'm back at this Bone Thugs and Harmony thing. But um, since that moment of clarity that uh, that gentleman uh, gave me by showing me uh, County Crooks, Cook County, man, I gotta look that up. Uh, I don't think that uh, Bone has the hits to go against some of these. Sipping on some sit, and if Project Patch hit is included in three six, which it shouldn't be, but if it is, then it's oh uh, so blowing out of the world, uh, water there for me. Uh, but there's some uh, if it's for the if it's for stands of that era, they're gonna it's gonna be a toss up. But if it's for record sold or notoriety especially because the type of music 3-6 makes, they make club music nobody's going, you know, and having big sessions to go and get all emotional and shit, 
think about things. But, um, I think that, uh, Bone will give them a run, run for their money. What, what was the other one? Been, oh, Chicken Head. Uh, you know, Bone's gonna come out with uh, Notorious Thugs, obviously, Thug Love, uh, which are good, awesome, awesome songs. 100%, obviously. Bone fan here. But does even a Thug Love or a Bone of Biggie? You know, that's another thing. Everybody calls a Bone of Biggie. Why was it ever called Notorious Thugs? I mean, I, I get it. Bad word. But, um, dude, that Bone of Biggie. What was, what was that masterpiece over there? That's what they always do. Being Bone. <laughs> we gonna be here till we dead and go. We playing. Don't be talking about it. I'm gonna get in the car. Meet you back with the AK. Okay. We'll see who ready for war. It's coming to target. Market. Put up your weapon. Get ready to spark shit. That was Crazy Bones. Uh, verse. P and Bone. So many N bombs. I shouldn't even say that I know this song. <laughs> oh man, that's it, man. This is. Uh, where was I at? Let's go backwards there. We're all uh, Bone and Biggie. Uh, all of the songs. The first song. Okay. Back to where I was talking about. Them. Slanging. All right? I thought this was the actual dictionary word for this. Uh, for um, the act of, uh, let's say, like selling drugs or something like that. I thought the word was actually slanging. Not slingy. And it wasn't until... Uh, I met my, uh, man, my buddy had a, a ex and she was, he called her the, he called her the weed man because she's so weed, <laughs> that's funny. Uh, she said slinging and I remember it was so baked <laughs> and uh, she said it and I couldn't stop laughing. I was like, that is not how you say it. And I said how I said it. She's like, no, that's just rapper vernacular and I was no, it ain't like thing, like bang is thing and Kang is king. Um, didn't notice. Yeah, shout out to all the slangers out there. <laughs> That's funny. Oh man, this drive is taking for it forever and ever, man. I switch it up. I switch it up, go country right fucking now. You would take these rap lyrics over to country land. Oh, conspiracy time. We're going to get back to that versus too. Conspiracy. Uh, T-Pain writes all country music. All of it. Every song. <laughs> if you turn on the country station right now, just picture T-Pain doing all the vocals, the background, all that side shit. It's a fucking T-Pain song. All day long. Every day. It's pretty wild, actually. And I actually, I got enough. I was gonna stop and get a coffee, but kind of in the zone with the video right now. So we're gonna we're gonna keep the vibe going strong. We're gonna get on the interstate and go the speed limit because that's what I do. I go the speed limit and I don't break that because it's a limit. It's not a it's not a recommendation. That's as fast as you're allowed to go. My girlfriend hates that though. Uh, um, T Pain writes all country music. I guess that was all I really had to say. But it is weird why it's all like that. Like, and T-Pain's uh, a country feller uh, himself. You just hear it, man. And I think it's, I think part of it is uh, the auto-tune use, obviously. But it's structure and everything. And I'm sitting there like, man, I was like. It's structure and everything, and I'm just like sitting there, like, man, I was like, could this really be like T Pain just going off, you know? All right, now we're on the interstate, we're in the thick of shit, everybody. Yeah, uh, what else were we at? Where were we at? Uh, versus. Okay, so what does Bone got? Bone has uh, uh, oh, the crossroads, Douglas Rogers Bone. See, like, this is weird, man, because like these are M. Impact full songs. Bones Impact, 
way higher than 3-6 Mafia. But 3-6 Mafia with them, uh, the club hits that people are going to have a lot of memories from, from uh, going out to bars or, or, or clubs, obviously. Or uh, that, that uh, Tennessee uh, growth that's happened throughout the years, too. 3-6 has always had a presence. Bone still tours like crazy and stuff, but they are, um, they became like a, a, what is the word, a niche or a niche um, type of group where it was like, okay, we found our following and then it got limited. You know what I think it was? Is that Bone kept, uh, uh, didn't do, they just did gun songs a Which is fine. I get like rap. That's kind of a rappy thing, you know. But um, crazy when he split off, he did his uh, uh, attempt at love songs. I thought those were alright. Um, and then uh, later on, went on to do like techno and switch it up that way. I don't necessarily think that anything was could could have been as impactful as say like uh, like a three six with. Uh, Tear the club up, something like that, or like anything off of that uh, world domination part two, the purple disc. Oh, my purple homie. Uh, what? Oh, my purple homie. Oh my gosh. There was one song I listened to, and I don't even. I, I think that I stopped playing it every time the word started, and I just restart the beginning. <laughs> Oh man, killing it. Clip here. You know, uh, 36 never touched Bone on any fast rap, so I don't even get why they were in it uh, so much. But I guess, it, you know, actually, I'm not saying that. I uh, remember a DJ Paul interview where he was talking about, like, oh, I stole our style, like, for the, um, <laughs> the devil worship and shit. Uh, let's see if they address that stuff. But, uh, because Crazy Bone said in the interview just recently, within the last six months, it had to have been. No, it was, yeah, it was on Drink Champs. Um, he was like, man, he's like, we were just taking photos, you know, making our shit. They're like, you think this looks cool? We're like, hell yeah, that looks cool. He's like, we didn't really know about that shit or, or what that was representing. You know, we just, just look cool, dude. Yeah, we didn't know what those symbols were. So that was actually weird to hear, man, because I remember that... Um, you know, they you know, they dress these dudes up and probably make a the vibe a lot darker than what it was. And then so far as the listener, you know, you start getting necklaces with the skull on it, you know what I mean? You start getting Oh, remember that where they started having the uh crazy one had little skulls at the bottom of every grave? <laughs> Must have been heavy head. Heavy headed. Strong neck. Strong neck with this one. The neck is strong with this one. <laughs> yeah, versus challenge at the end of it. Man, I gotta say that 3-6 is gonna look better. But, it, you know, they say that, you, that we're, you know, we're not judging, but all of us are judging. You know, it's two people. You're gonna compare them. It's natural. I think 3-6 is gonna come out more because it's... They're gonna have a... I've done thing in a concert too. Like Bone's oh, pretty cool in concert, but you got an age gap there too. Even though all three six and Bone are the same age, three six's fame came <laughs> damn near fifteen years later. So you got a younger crowd. I know I keep saying that type of shit, and it's kind of making Bone sound like they're washed up, and that's not what it's <laughs> not what I'm saying at all. Seems like they're all happy and stable and got money, so good job, Steve Low Battle. Go 
going round a circle, a circle, just to make a left hand turn. You know, I think that, uh, um, cities, I guess, districts, places, locations, hide governmental stuff and like roundabouts and stuff and the exits and things like that you know spots where you're going 70 miles an hour you can't really look around and, and uh sightsee and then um that's right where they put stuff you know right in plain sight the best way to hide it is in the crowd right kind of uh conspiratorial but Holy crap, you're really listening to all that? All right, well, thanks. I'll do more later.